All right, hello everyone, and welcome to this very interesting session. I wasn't really planning to, <laughs> not more by planning, I guess I haven't done this in a while. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people wondering there like who, who I am. So just to do like a brief intro on myself before we dig into the games and what we're here to do today. Uh, my name is Pontus Slap Mahler. I used to be a pro gamer for about eight years. I uh, did YouTube, I did Twitch, uh, have I believe about 60 million views or something like that over the last couple of years. I played for a couple of professional teams in a game called Heroes of New Earth and ended up traveling the world, playing world finals, uh, developing content. I had my own content team that did all my YouTube videos, etc. Which is ultimately how I landed here in Thailand. So yeah, I'm Swedish, uh, but I live in Thailand and Asia. I've lived here. This is my fifth year living in Asia now. And this was all basically because of my streaming career. You know, a lot of people you know, sit at their homes and develop their streaming career there. Some of them move, some, some of them don't. But for me, my life's just been a little bit all, all up in the air and allowed me to travel a lot. And I ultimately settled here to continue my professional gaming career. Uh, so I did, uh, I actually became the CEO of an esport organization here, uh, played professionally again in this country and continued my stream. However, I uh, retired about three years ago. And while I do stream, quite a bit still every now and then when I have a good time. Nowadays, I am focused on game investments. So I'm the director of business development for G Round. You can see the shirt here and Global Top Round. So we invest in video games, basically. So I'm still in the industry. I still do occasional streams, but nowadays we work with a lot of streamers as well. So today we got a two hour session here and I'm going to dig into a bunch of cool German games and I'm going to try and provide like a decent overview from different perspectives. Obviously, since I used to be a pro gamer as well as a streamer, but now transitioning into investments, I have a very broad overview of how games are supposed to be played, supposed to be made. And I skipped a long part about my background history. I did game design and stuff like that as well in my past, but we don't have time to talk about me today. We're going to focus on these games. So um, yeah, I'm going to try and provide an overview from multiple perspectives. We'll see how it goes. And, yeah, how good these games are, I guess. So let's dig into this and start with Desperados. Um, uh, one second here. All right, so let's do a new game. We're going to do hard difficulty, of course. Oh, definitely not Desperado. I don't think so. Let's do hard and fail. You know, we're on stream after all. I'm supposed to be failing. That's the fun part about being a streamer. <laughs> But yeah, let's dig into the first game, Desperados 3. I actually did not play first Desperados. I didn't play the second one either. So I have no idea what to expect. I didn't actually even watch the trailer. So I wanted to kind of provide like a, you know, a first impression kind of video rather or stream, sorry, rather than preparing myself for every game. So I've actually watched uh, or I'll prepared zero for all of the games we're going to be testing today. Well, we'll see how things go. Okay. Obviously, though, with the name Desperados, you can kind of imagine that this was going to be a cowboy game or a western, a western title. That was pretty obviously obvious. All right. Right behind you, Pa. All right. So we got voice acting, obviously. Uh, art style is pretty nice. You can see the small details over here with like the sand actually traveling over because of the wind. And the wind actually follows on the plants as well, which is nice details. The horses have minimal animations in their faces, but generally looking pretty well. Okay, so left click to move. All right, move camera with the mouse. Oh boy, I hate that. Can I change that really quick actually? Uh, camera, border scrolling. No, there's no, I can't move with the, wait, can I move with the keys? I can, okay, we good. I do not like using the mouse to move around. Use control, okay. All right, so if an enemy sees you, their view cone fills with yellow. If the yellow reaches you, the enemy detects you, starts attacking and sounds the alarm. Select the enemy with our mouse to display their view cone, okay. So this is kind of like, I'm obviously like preparing. Okay. So am I supposed to kill this guy or am I supposed to sneak around him? I don't actually know. What is this rope? 
Oh, I can't pick that up. Whoops. Oh, I can jump down here? Oh, oh, that was an <clears throat> interesting jump. All right. Save the game anytime by pressing F5, so it offers autosave. Okay. Personally, I'm not a huge fan, especially in, like, higher difficulties. I don't like if you can um, autosave. I don't think it's a good idea. Like, in the lower difficulties, it's okay. But in higher difficulties, you kind of want to get challenged, right? You shouldn't be allowed to autosave all the time. Throw a coin to distract enemies with the blue radius. Press D. Okay. D and left mouse. All right. So, obviously, we want him to look over here. So, we're going to toss it there and sneak around. Ah. Really, bro? All right. Wait. What if I hit the rock? That should work, right? Oh, no. Okay. I'm being stupid here. The actual aura is... Uh, the radius, so I need to toss it within the radius of him. I'm being an idiot. Yeah, there we go. I wish being stupid. Oh, wow. Alright. It's an instant kill. So we have a minimap in the bottom right. Expand map, reset camera. So far the UI is pretty clean. And, okay, carrying the body into the bushes. Log. Highlight enemies red interactable objects. Okay, so they even offer highlight if you want to. Crouch is space. Okay. So if I click the mouse twice, he starts running. It's pretty common, common controls. Alright. Right. Oh, right. Control click, right. Show them how to pause as a game unless you plan one action per character. You can execute actions right away or save them for later time for shift to enter showdown mode. On different higher difficulty show on this not. Okay, so higher difficulty does not slow down. I think that's pretty good, right? So throw the coin at a horse. Alright. Oh desperado mode. Sorry, sorry, I'm on hard, I'm not on desperado. Okay. So continue shift. Alright, so do I control him too? No? Alright. Enter. Okay. So, I guess the horse was moving? Do I, like, toss that around now? Okay, what's the plan here? Um, am I... Can we kill him? Or... No? Objectives updated. I'm being stupid here, guys. Use your coins to anger the horse when the guard walks by. Ah, okay. See? I'm being stupid. Pro gamer right here, guys. So, how do I anger the horse? Like, right here? Or... I'm being really stupid right now! Ah, okay, I got it. <laughs> I get it. Alright. Now what, though? Do we just leave her? Okay, I guess we're leaving her. Oh, the dad's killing her. Never mind. Just knocking her out. Kill the dude, save the woman. <laughs> Alright. So we don't seem to get access like to where people are until we actually walk through. Alright, fine. I'll quick save just for the sake of it, but... As I mentioned, I don't really like having that in higher difficulties. Need to throw it down. Okay. Use control. Zoom, mouse wheel. Why would I have to zoom here? But okay. Hm. You don't need to crouch anymore. Go. So how do I actually get up here, do you think? Oh, I can climb here. Okay. I don't see any... Alright, so I guess there are no enemies here. Okay. Why couldn't the dad just run with me on the left? Like, that's one of the, the like, a huge game design flaw in a lot of games. Like, when they add these, like, extra steps for no reason. Like, if I can climb here, so can the dad. There's no reason for both of us to just run over here. Just adding extra time into the game for no reason. So it's a flawed design, in my opinion. Um, while crouched space, you can safely move through the dark and striped area of enemies. Okay, that's cool. I mean, tutorial so far is really well made. Like, everything is, like, super clear. Oh, shit. On what I'm supposed to be doing. I was being a bit of an idiot with the horse there. But generally, um, really, really good so far. Okay, so I can move through the stripes. So then, basically, I should be able to move over here, but what's my objective here? So my objectives are reach the rooftops, okay? 
So I should be able to just climb up, I guess, at this edge right here, right? So by right-clicking every person, I should be able to just sneak around here. Wait, let me, oh. Huh? Okay, there we go. So, and then just climb up here, right? No? I cannot climb up here? Okay, can I zoom around the camera somehow? Q, W, no? I haven't gotten any prompt for moving the camera. Unless I was supposed to go to this and I'm being stupid again. I think I'm being stupid again. <laughs> I was talking about how the tutorial's really good, but, you know, if the player isn't good, you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> Alright, so it's this one I'm supposed to go to. Or that. Hmm. I wonder which one is easier. Hmm. So they actually give me a choice of going right or left. This one seems to be a lot harder than the left one, though. So technically, if I do this and throw the coin to only hit the one on the back, I should theoretically be okay. But it has to hit only that person. Like that. Yeah. All of them look away. And we go up. Yeah. Oh shit, though. What do I do about here? Jump across? Okay. Are they not going to see me, though? I mean... Okie dokie. Hmm. I'm not very good at these games generally, so... Oh shit. So I don't think I can kill this guy yet, right? So... Uh, am I waiting for my dad, maybe? I guess I am. So, daddy, go kill him, please, I guess. Mm hmm. Wait, see the one in the back? What? Where? Oh! Okay. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. So, what's his vision? Okay, something. Oh, there we go. Alright, his so vision is very long. Hmm. So, I can't climb up. Hmm. I guess I could walk around by the looks of it. So, technically, he should not be able to see me here, judging by this. So then I can just toss this guy back. And then he kills this guy, yeah. Alright. Again, so far, good tutorials. Uh, artwork's beautiful. I, I, I love the graphics. Uh, usually, again, not a fan of these types of games, so I'm not very good at them. But that's, you know, just like a personal thing. Um, I guess... Wait, why am I... <laughs> oh, look at this. Alright. You know, we're hugging him. Into the bush. Here we go. And let go. Ah, how do I let go? Oh, there we go. Right click. Alright, and body's gone. Okay. Huh? What happened here? Alright, we got him. Okay, so you can hide body. Yeah, I just saw that. So hold control, left click, mouse. <laughs> so I guess I have to do that too. Okay, dad. Lazy, lazy bastard. Mm. Okay, and walk here. Pretty innovative. Um, Alright, so that's pretty clear. I guess I'll save again, just in case so we don't mess up here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like it's a like really like graphically beautiful game, but there are some game design flaws I've seen already. Voice acting's really good. Ah, rotate camera, that's what I've been waiting for. Thank you very, very much. So I guess like they're just introducing mechanics step by step. That's okay, that's the right way to do things so the player doesn't get overwhelmed. Oh, they should have heard that though, but okay. Alright, so Use the crane. Climb up to the crane and drop its cargo. Huh. So I guess both these guys can basically see me, so... Can I really climb there? I highly doubt it, right? I think I have to go this way all the way around, climb up here, yeah. So I still need to get rid of this guy, so what I'll do is very simple. Toss a coin behind him. And then we'll climb up, sneak around. I don't know how long this lasts, so I might actually fuck up here. 
Yep, I fucked it up. Oh, they lost me though. So I don't know if I'm gonna die here. I am gonna die here. Yeah, that screwed up. So I needed to do that a lot faster. I'm also not sure if I can run. This is why you save, guys. <laughs> so this was one minute twenty-seven. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Continue. All right, let's go again. That's my bed. So I need it to be faster. I wonder if I... They haven't been clear if they can hear me when I run or not. So that's kind of like why I was confused there. If I could run, I would have left clicked. Or maybe I missed that description. I'm not sure. Regardless, it's okay. We'll just do it again. And I'll just quick save right before it. Um, okay. So I'm still not sure why, you know, the dad has to kill everyone and why I can't do certain things. But I guess I'll get to play another character later, maybe. Um, okay, so I guess we'll do the same thing again, but I'm... He doesn't see me when I come up here, right? He does. Alright, well... So I'll just wait in the bush and I'll do it again. Okay, so one more time. We'll do the same thing. Boom. Okay, we're in. Then I guess we'll do it a third time just for good measure, because he might actually see me walking up here, right? So we do that. And we climb up. Alright, so new objective. You can highlight all interactive when pressing H. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. That's a good feature, you know, just to make sure that the player actually understands what they're doing so they don't get stuck. Obviously, games like this are very, like, step-by-step. Uh, -step. So if you do actually screw up, right, then... Um, there we go. Knife on all three. Okay. So I guess go in here, come out. But yeah, it's, it's a good way to basically make sure... Huh? Okay. Are we not supposed to hide these bodies? Um, I guess not, right? Okay, no, we're supposed to be up there. I guess leave him. Uh, uh, uh. We'll do this anyway. Go. What? Why is it not letting go of the body? Oh, there we go. Alright, so... Okay. I mean, so far, this is very standard for, like, a... Like, a strategy game like this. I haven't seen anything super out of the ordinary. Other than that I like the graphics and the um, voice art. The uh, voice acting. You wait till I'm back. Okay. I like this. It's kind of like an interaction, you know, creating uh, a character flow between the dad and the son, right? Like, stuff like this is very important in story-based games. Otherwise, you're not going to care about the kid. You're not going to care about the dad if you don't have these, like, small nitty-gritty things. I mean, the reason God of War was so successful, right, is, you know... <laughs> Boy. Boy. That's pretty much why everyone went crazy. So... Okay. Hmm. THQ Nordic. Oh, it's an Embracer game. Hmm. Embracer group, huh? I didn't know that. Whoops. <laughs> mm -hmm. A me, me, me game. Chapter one, the doctor and the bride. All right, I mean, that was a decent enough tutorial, I think. Um, I guess we can play like another five minutes maybe before we swap to the next game, potentially. Um, just so I can see like post-tutorial, like how the game looks like. Because obviously tutorial and the gameplay itself is like very different. Every swear is a tip on the swear jar. Oh, um, sorry, I'll keep it PG-13. Oh, this gives me a feeling of real Western, you know? This is cool. I like this uh, cutscene. 
It's a very, very beautiful game. I'll give them that. I mean, as an investment company, we look at thousands and thousands of pitches, right? Like, I, I've seen so many of these games. Um, this is probably one of the best ones I've seen. Am I here? You have audio issues? Oh, that's weird. I'm very sorry. Let me fix that super quickly. I hear the game's very loud, so... That's weird. It's gonna be super loud for me now, I think. But it should be okay. If, as long as you guys can hear it. If you can't hear the sound, you know, you can't get the full story uh, and understand everything, so it's important you guys can see it. Is this better, maybe? Shoot him dead, boys! This should be louder for you, I think. Ah, another notch for me. Oh. Uh. Okay. There we go. Again. Hey, leave some for me. This is better. All right. Sorry about that. I didn't know you guys couldn't hear the sound. <laughs> I've been talking about the sound here and. In the beginning of the stream. My mistake. So, we st we've only been introduced to Pa and the Sun right now, and we don't really know what the story is here, but I- This is a sequel, I guess. It's Desperados 3, right? So... I wonder what's and he's here. gonna get nice. Yep. <laughs> ah! Cool music. Much better. Thank you, guys. Let me know if there's any other issues, and I'll fix it. <laughs> Something tells me you ain't here punching tickets. Now you can hear the voice acting. It's good. Huh. Seems like we made an unplanned stop. I'd better go find out. What As a non-Desperados player, I, I, again, I don't know what the story is or what I'm doing here or who the kid is, so... For me it's right now, it's hard to connect with anyone Gonna because... Have to sneak my way up to the front of the train. Again, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, right, press A to select the mice and F last to attack. Okay. Knife will do. Alright. Okay, nice Scratch animation. One. Okay. Let's go. So I guess this is the throwing knife, right? Yep. Press S to select the throwing Gotta knife. Take him out from here. Better throw a knife. Alright. Ooh. How am I gonna get my knife Let's back see. here though? Oh, I guess I only have one knife, right? Shit. Yep. Lost my knife. So I need to be smart about this. Let's get going. Okay, I can't see, can't see. So I should be okay here to just sneak up around. Oh. Rope lifts, wheelbarrows. Man, I don't think I need prepared. to kill everyone. Right. Better get up top. No problem. I'm assuming I should throw away the body here, but I'm not sure if I have to. Come on. So I definitely don't need to kill the two of those. So I guess I'll take the thing up. Okay. So jump not over. The jumping animations, I'm sorry, are not very good. <laughs> they they're very low quality. <laughs> it's okay. It just makes for a good laugh. All right, friendly. All right, okay. Hey, hey, look over here! We missed one. All right, so there's only one person. Okay, but can you use this rotate? I guess about all the rest of stuff. Okay, so if I shoot, then why can't I just snipe? Ooh, I'm just out of range. Come out, come out! I know where you are. What if I just do like the coin here and make him look away? You hear that? On the oh, right. Easy. I don't need to. Oh, fuck. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I was being smart right there, guys. I wasn't. Alright. We're still killing. We're good. Find a place to hide. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna give this like uh, two more minutes, I think. Um, and we'll swap over. But so far, you know, my impressions are it's it's a high quality game. Uh, voice acting is really good. Graphics are beautiful. Everything looks super realistic. Jumping animations are pretty okay, bad. Man. And as a non-Desperados player, I still have no idea what's going on, you know? I guess we'll be slowly introduced to the um, 
Okay, sure let me see. Thing. Fuck. Okay. So I guess I'll be explained here what I do. Problem if I have both guns. Press shift. Oh. So F. And I guess G. And execute. Cool. That's very cool. All right. I'd say you owe me one. We'll listen to this cutscene and we'll swap over. Hey, now. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> I'd say we're even now. Question, question, question mark. Now I suggest you return to your wagon. I'll have I love the music in the game, man. Incredible. Like you handle those two? Listen, Mr. Cooper. Mr. Cooper, I've been hired to make sure this train gets to Flagstone. I'd appreciate it if you don't get in my way. Animations well, around, now, like, uh, the bodies, like the McCoy, characters moving and talking Dr. is very realistic McCoy. as well. Right. Doctor. Uh, you kind of feel like you're in part, like, a half movie, well, yeah, kind of. There's only one way forward. And There's definitely room Flagstone for games like this too. on the market. There's not a lot of them. And there's not a lot of high Shoot quality yourself, ones. But don't say I can. I this is probably. I mean, it's an Embracer Group game, and it's the third game, so obviously it is a successful uh, franchise. I have heard about Desperados before. I've just never played it. Um, yeah, I can see this being like a pretty good game on the market right now. So I think it kind of fits uh, like the uh, the current like sentiments um, of what's going on. Like you know, with all the games coming out, it's not a genre that is overly saturated. There is a lot of um, there is a lot of strategy games though. Not this high quality, but like this like a similar genre. And but in terms of like double A, triple A, I think there is a lot of room for this. Definitely interesting. I'd probably want to play more. I, I can't say if I would buy the game by that playthrough right there. Um, but very high quality. Um, okay, let's do. Uh, Lost Ember next, I guess. Uh, I don't think there's a particular order where, which I have to play these games. So let's try with Lost Ember. Now, I have seen the trailer of this game, but not because I looked it up earlier, because it's been everywhere. This game has been super, super uh, hyped up everywhere. Reddit, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, you name it. It looks absolutely incredible. So this is uh, very interesting to see this one. Let me just uh, give you guys a view of this, of course, so you can see what I'm seeing. So, Lost Ember, right there. Let me know if there are any issues, but we should be good. Alright, so the main menu UI is very lackluster and tiny designed, but it doesn't matter. Gameplay is what matters. It's nice of them to have accessibility. Open dyslexic, take time. Accessibility is a huge thing. Gaming companies that don't care about accessibility things go back to the drawing board, you know. You have colorblind people, you have blind people, you have deaf people. That's why Last of Us is such a good game and, and the studio is really good. Like, they are the kings and queens of accessibility. You can disable your spring when you come here if you want more subtle and abstract. No, why would I disable the commentary? That doesn't seem to make sense, right? That should be... That's part of the story. Yeah. It's good that they do give you the option to do it, of course, because some people don't want that, like, background talking. But, I mean, for me, I want the full experience. Prologue. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, okay. The water will lead us. The fire will free us, and the light will guide us home. This is like the Jesus movie, what's it called? The That's Prince of Egypt? Into the city of light. Where he gets After sent away in the, uh, for the very in the boat? Last time, <laughs> you will rise into the light, like a spark from a fire. All will be welcomed who follow the Yangren ways faithfully. The others? They are thrown back into this world. It's very as atmospheric. Wild beasts. Lost embers. I like the artwork. 
This seems more indie than the other studio, of course. Kalani. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. That's pleasant. They have an ab abnormal amount of pink and red in this game. Like, even in the main menu, now in the first couple of scenes, they're really going for that whole pink and red vibe, huh? And this is why, by the way, if you're looking at accessibility, make sure that you have, you know, colorblind options for... If a game is purely based around certain colors, you know, you need to make sure that you have a counterpart for the, uh, uh, for the people with... Accessibility there issues. No one here that understands me. Was that a British accent? Is there no one here that understands me? Is that what he said? What a pretty fox. Oh, good morning. Uh, would would you mind helping me with something? Oh, it is a British accent. Okay. All right. Okay. Moving is slightly meh. Oh, thank you. Okay. Camera it's in a cave just a bit is not well here. made. Go ahead. I'll follow you. Hmm. Or maybe I have the wrong. No. I've been stuck here for ages. This could be intentional. I guess. You're the first one that's willing to help. Would you believe that? All right. I'm supposed to be in the, the camera is life. really sloppy. Maybe there is an option to fix this. Okay. There is. Thank you. It's still very, very weird, but... Have you heard of that? Okay, this is better, but the camera work it's is where still all the a little... Where true spirits are supposed to go after... Mm. after Love the music. Death. But I've been trapped here by this barrier for so long. I guess I shouldn't be talking. I we should listen why. a bit and I'll talk after. I will kind of want to listen here. to this, this little thing first. And I'm pretty sure that amulet has something to do with that. Amulet, okay. So there is an amulet. This looks beautiful, though. I mean, it's a different type of art style. If you're not into stuff like this, I get why you wouldn't like it. But this is really well made, just from like an aesthetic point of view. Still a little bit... I don't understand the whole red and, and pink kind of focus, but it looks beautiful to me. Well, the walking animation is okay. Audio is pretty good. They definitely don't have a huge audio mixer because the footsteps are recycled. I would be very interested to know how, how much of a budget this game had to make. If this is super, like, if this is indie indie, this is very uh, well made on a aesthetic side. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. The only problem about these games, you know, I'm assuming, uh, again, this, this is a narrative game. The only problem with these games is that when you collaborate with influencer marketing and you launch your games, you'd lose a lot of sales because people would rather watch it than play it themselves. This is one of those games that I yeah, that's would it. play myself, but a lot of people wouldn't just for the pure fact that they'd watch their favorite streamer. Okay. Corpse. All right. Camera work here is very good. You can see that they're focusing on the actual body and they're fading out the fox. I'm assuming I'm a fox. I'm not a wolf, right? Can you get Am I a wolf? <laughs> oh my god, I could be a wolf. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not a fox. Let fox. Because <laughs> there are black the foxes, you know. Ages. What does this They've been say? on Kickstarter to make this game. Cal okay, so it is indie. Name? Yeah, no, it's. No, that makes sense. No, that wasn't my name. Maybe this isn't my body after all. Mm, this is kind of like a I spirit. I do remember that name. What? Okay. It it's you. The amulet. Hmm. That's Kalani. Who's Kalani? Wolf. Are you? I am a wolf. It's oh, time God. you reach <laughs> the light you long for. Any developer based in Hamburg? This nice. lost ember needs your help. Lost ember needs your help. Therefore, let the this name. aid you on your way. 
Okay, so now that I know it's an indie, I'm gonna be a little less judgmental with my feedback because obviously I can't judge a triple A versus an indie, right? Because if it was a if it was a triple A, the voice acting of that girl is not good. Were were you Kalani in in a former life? Very well, intriguing to start, mean, though. Like, they're showing us, like, the huge world. You were we're getting, like, the city of light. slowly introduced to the characters. You're the Lost Ember. Yeah, I'm the Lost Maybe Ember. Maybe I can help you reach the City of Light if you'd help me. A true Yanran spirit and a Lost Ember, side by side. Hmm. Call my companion. We tried that before, but... Uh... You found a relic. All right, 77. So it's also like a collectible, which means you gotta explore. I can see why someone would want to explore this. Wonder if I can jump on things. I just remember bits and pieces. Okay, cool. But I'm sure together we can figure out the way. Very beautiful, man. Like, music 10 out of 10, guys. Art style, graphics for really, really nice so far. Nope. Alright, broski. Time to jump. Don't fall. We have to get you across if we're gonna get anywhere together. Let me mm. see if I can find some way to help you. What the hell? <laughs> what? I didn't find anything but these two. <laughs> Wolf, your mark. Look. Sorry, that's a tip for the swear jar, I guess. Okay, concentrate. What's happening? Wolf? <laughs> How did you do that? What the heck? I turned into a cool soul wanderer. <laughs> I don't even know what animal this is, but I'm cute. What you just <laughs> did? That's soul wandering. Soul wandering. Ah, this yeah, explains the trailer. There's in the trailer that you fly something. Light, a one foot here on Earth. Cool. Maybe you weren't meant to be turned back from the City of Light. Oh, don't eat that. Oh, you're <sighs> we'll have to find out more about you. Okay. Come on then. So we're some sort of spirit who can body travel. They're introducing the mechanics very slowly. Which is good. I look like a silly little thing. <laughs> okay. Munch, 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 munch. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's, it's a super cute game so far. I am definitely sold on the fact that this... Uh, again, I didn't want to do any research, so this is a narrative. Uh, narrative game, story ba story based. So from like a whole business perspective, I mean, there's a lot of narrative story games. It's all about, you know, doing things that are unique and new and fresh. And I kind of feel like this is. I mean, soul, soul body changing or soul swapping has happened many times before. But not with this kind of like cutesy art style and music, I think. Journey is a great example of an amazing, amazing game. Uh, and look at this, yeah, this is super pretty. Very nice prologue. It definitely makes me want to play more. Um, you can return to Wolf Form anytime. We're coming closer okay. to the barrier that's keeping me here. <laughs> I haven't been able to leave this place okay. for ages. Maybe okay. you can find a way through. Alright. So it seems like slightly open world. Obviously not completely, but like, you know, it's not super straight up linear run here. Yeah, the only problem from a business perspective about these games is that, again, like, people rather you see that? watch that watch their streamer fire. play it. So that's why you lose a like, huge customer base when you launch games like this. If there's no co-op, there's no multiplayer, then there's a huge fan base you're gonna lose. But I think, like, by the cuteness and uniqueness of this game alone, you, they might actually be able to overcome that. The game was launched already, right? It's a Wombat? 
Oh. <laughs> well, they were cute. <laughs> oh. What is that? Oh, so I get to like look back in the past. I, I think we're seeing. I think this game will do really well if it hasn't what launched already, but I think this? it did launch. It's yeah, very well yes. made. Do you see the amulet? They're clearly Yanrana. Our people. Children of mm. the Emperor. Exactly, yeah. You you're, you're swap going? through different animals. Use their abilities. Yeah, that's why you can fly and stuff later. No, you're being introduced like slowly and they're taking one animal at a time. I don't see why you'd ever turn off your companion though. I mean, he kind of makes the whole narrative, right? Oh no. Bandits. Mm. Wait. That, that's Kalani. Wolf, that, that's her. I mean, I mean you again. Oh. So I was a bad boy? Poor girl? Damn. So am I stuck and trapped in this wolf for my sins? <laughs> so you were a bandit? Apparently. I suppose that this has to have something to do with ah, why you're not called in the it. city of light. <laughs> it did launch? How well did it do? It must have done really well, right? If we can find out more about you, I'm sure I can help you out of here. What? How did that happen? Hmm. Was that the memory? Wolf, do you think that means I can leave? <laughs> you did it. I'm free. Hmm. Wolf, uh, I'm free. Well, you're welcome, bro. Now I can show you the way to the City of Light. That was easy, I Come guess. Come on. <laughs> Last Ember launched 22nd November 2019. Oh! Okay, it's a very long time ago. In that case, I'm really looking forward to what these guys are planning next, because this is very well made. Wait. So I'm gonna go off topic here and just go to the Steam page and take a look. Yeah, very positive. 9 out of 10, 2,000 reviews. Yeah. Alright, I think we can jump over to the next game because I. I this is very impressive. I really like it from like the brief prologue that I played. It makes you kind of want to play more. It's different. They've taken like a mechanic like, you know, soul swapping and made it intriguing. And also with the cuteness, you can kind of reach like all types of demographics and audiences. So yeah, I think it's a, it's a cool game. Well done. What were you called? Moon Eye Studio? If you guys are, you know, looking for investment for your new game, send me an email. <laughs> All right, what do we do next? Let's do um, Etora. All right, let's try the Etora game. Yeah, I saw the Steam page. Looks really good. That was a very well-made game. Again, I didn't play the whole thing. Obviously, I'm judging this by a limited amount of information, but yeah. Okay, let me uh, change my game capture here to a Torah. All right. Okay. Oh, I did not click that on purpose. Is this a controller game? Because I just clicked S and the game started. I have a controller here if I need to. Hold D to skip. Well, I'm not going to skip. So this game is called Etora. And, whoa, wow. Okay. Very different art style. I've seen this game. Hey. I don't know if the developers are watching this event, but I've been trying to find your email for a very long time. This this um, this game is in our business development list. We have this in our database. We're trying to find you guys, so hit me up, man. Or woman. We're, we've been looking for you. We have this in our database. I, I know, I've seen this a lot. I haven't played it, though, so this would be my first time playing. But it looks incredible. Okay, this is a controller game. I cannot play with these controls. Jump on D. Alright, that's not happening. Alright, we're changing. I'm not doing this with keyboard and mouse. I hope I can use a controller. Please tell me I can. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sad. Yes, controller. Assign controller. Boom. 
All right. Hmm. Did it not do it? Oh, okay, it did do it. All right, there we go. Done. All right, we're good. Okay, so jump on A, hit on X, nothing on Y, B for roll, that loses stamina. Nothing in the back, so I guess because I'm in the tutorial, I don't have any other buttons yet. Move camera over here. All right, I'm good. I'm good. A on jump. Oh, okay, we can kill the background stuff. I can also jump and- oh, crystals. Okay. Ah, I love the art style, you know, like... It looks incredible. Alright, I can charge up my attacks. And, okay, so it seems like whenever I destroy something, I get these crystals, which I haven't been introduced to what it is yet, which is okay. Charging up all the way, what happens? Because that's the maximum when it does like a thing. So just from the beginning of the game, right? You can tell they have like the basic stuff for like decent game design. You know, when I'm holding the button, you can see it's charging up and then you see when it's in the top. So everything is very clear. Um, oh, I can actually sit down. Oh. I feel like if I don't get a tutorial telling me I can do those things, uh, it's gonna be... Uh... Hmm. Like, it's not super clear that I can actually attack these, uh, like, all the environment stuff. I mean, for me it is, but I mean, from a pure overview perspective, not really. Okay, one shot. So far, like, nothing crazy out of the ordinary. The thing about these games is that there are so many of them. It's one of the most saturated games, like, that exist. Like, you don't understand how many of these games I get pitched on, like, a weekly basis, so... In terms of saturation, there's way too many of these games. It is not a good genre to develop, unless you have something, like, super, super unique. And for me, the reason I really like this is, like, the way that they've designed the characters, like, their their art style is incredible. Like, it looks really nice. That's why we've been wanting to play this game and talk to the developers for a long time. So, again, developers, if you're here, email me, please. <laughs> oh, that's a big spider. Oh. Does he have ranged attack? No. So I can move at the same time. Oh, god damn it. He owned me. Okay, so I can't dodge attacks. So I have to. Okay. Okay, I can't dodge. Alright. Oh, screw me. Oh, that was bad. By me. So dodging is kind of like Dark Souls dodging. I can dodge attacks. There's no block, right? No parry? No. Even attacking grass gives me diamonds. Okay, so... I feel like... I, I still, in this tutorial or prologue... Oh, back. I don't even know what back is. Oh, that's back. Alright. Okay, pretty standard UI for a level map. Nothing really to say here. Oh. Inventory. Interesting. So there's a bunch of, like, things around my face on the left, supposedly maybe runes or some sort of story thing. So, like, when I open the menu, I know there's things to come. Um, very basic UI. I mean, not really much to say. Mm. Lost Ember is also in Switch. Mm. Very good game, Moon Eyes Studios. Lost Ember is definitely pretty. I wish I had more time to play games, but, you know, like, 80% of me playing games is figuring out if I should invest in them or not, so... Don't have much free time. That's the sad part. Spider Cave. Alright, so if you don't skip, they give you, like, a walkthrough of the whole thing. 
And now I'm assuming they're gonna show me the saving progress, yeah. So they're using basic mechanics. Um, nothing super special right now. Okay, so resting actually gives me full HP. So from a design perspective, there's already a couple of issues. So they haven't really been highlighting that I can actually hit stuff and get things from them. So as a new player, unless you're used to like this kind of like style, you probably don't know that you're supposed to be attacking them to get resources. Secondly, now when I went to save, they didn't tell me that I would be fully rested, so to speak, or get like a full HP bar. That's something you need to tell the players so that they know, okay, I lost a bunch of HP, how do I get HP? Obviously by doing it, you'll know, but it should be actually explained within the prologue or tutorial as well. Oh, this looks like a trap. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, cool. I can't judge the keyboard and mouse controllers right now because obviously I went for uh, keyboard and mouse because I obviously went for a controller, but at least from the first couple of uh, minutes of keyboard mouse that also seemed kind of badly optimized same thing here in terms of like game design it's not super clear that i'm supposed to go left i mean yeah they put these like shadows here on all these other mushrooms to show that i'm supposed to go left but it's not like instantly clear again you got to think about who's your target audience and for a game like this it's probably a rather young audience maybe up to 35 so you gotta expect that people aren't like, you know, pro gamers who have played their entire lives. You should expect that your audience is kind of like, uh, for lack of a better word, dumb. Um, and treat them as such. Everything should be like super clear. That's why a lot of the, you know, the, the AAA and AA companies, they have like this really dumb difficulty, so to speak, where they teach you everything. Like just everything. Um, and then you have, you know, the higher difficulties where they remove all these things so you know players with actual experience who don't actually want to have all of the things highlighted and you know telling you everything what to do i go to higher difficulty so i can avoid it okay oops so i can't jump up there yeah. all right slight control issue like it's very sensitive when i start actually like crawling so right now if i'm like even 15 percent it will crawl like move the controller 15 percent it starts crawling that's not really good controller uh design you should basically make sure that it's accurate on the uh, on the joystick because right now the joystick is slightly unoptimized and i'm crawling when i'm not supposed to All right, prompt for inventory. So if I'm being prompted for inventory, like the classic game design here would be that when I click the back menu, I go straight to the inventory. I shouldn't be put in the map first. So if you're giving me a highlight or a notice of what I'm supposed to be doing, I should instantly be in the inventory. You should never send me to the map. That's just wasting my time as a player and it's gonna make, make less, you know, people get annoyed for the smallest things nowadays. So yeah, it's, Make it easy for people, right? People are lazy. Um, Alright, the level map. Okay. So, fire. Yeah, that's pretty clear. Use orb. Alright. Your critique is actually really helpful. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Sabuza. That's what I'm here for. Testing cool games. And as I said, I, I absolutely love the look uh, of this game. And I'm not kidding. If the developers are here, email me. We want to test this game. Like... My, my business development guys have been asking me uh, for this game for a long time, so... Oh shit. Okay. Sorry, another swear for the curse jar there, I guess. Oh. Oh, I can't reach? Hmm? Huh. Okay, maybe I'm missing something here. I jumped down by mistake. Huh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna bother, that's okay. I guess I'm missing something, being silly. 
So that the controls are customizable? Yeah. I mean, the controller is working super smooth, except that really small unoptimization on the left joystick. It's not the end of the world. Oh. Well. Okay, I can't parry. If I if I actually hit him the same time, I hit parries. That's cool. So basically, it's like about timing. This seems abusable. I I'm not sure. I need to play this game more, I think, but it, right, it seems like the dodge is very abusable. But uh, there is stamina, though, so I guess maybe the stamina bar is too high. I think you might want to nerf the stamina bar a little bit. It also reloads very quickly. But I haven't reached the boss, so it could be that, you know, the stamina bar is made for a boss fight, right? So that's why I'm going to be quiet for now. Oh wow, okay, cool. That's another orb, I guess? So the orbs are for opening doors, we know that. Spider King dungeon again. Oh, now it's for opening the inventory. Unless they designed it in a way where I opened the last menu. Let's try that. Yeah, okay. It's designed opening the last menu. Gotcha. Don't do that. <laughs> Alright. I like that you're auto-crawling, even though I'm not clicking crawl. It auto-crawls me to a safe time. That's good. It's a basic thing. Alright. So we're back here now. Uh. I don't actually know if I'm supposed to go over here. Okay, I'm not supposed to go over here. I'm being stupid. Okay. Okay, so I have to pick up the crystal. But I don't think... Can I actually use my key for that left wall? No. So I wonder if I'm supposed to go back to the beginning then, like where the other door is? Is that what they're trying to make me do here? Or why else are they sending me down here? Uh -huh. Oh, what is that over there? Hmm, how do I get there? I think I'm being stupid again, guys. I think. Okay, I forgot to hit those. Am I being stupid again? So we jump down here, right? And then we jump over. Yeah, I am being stupid. Wait, where am I supposed to go? So, I can't go back, obviously. And I can't go down to the fire to get the other wall. I think I'm just being a bad player right now. I don't think this is the game's fault. I'm, I guess, assumingly, I'm supposed to go all the way right and, like, somehow get up to that chest thing we saw. Right? That must be the thing. But how do I do that? Ah! I think I'm being stupid. Unless the demo is this short and they've just been walling off everything else. No, right, no way. Okay, I can run under. What am I missing? Isn't that a switch next to the wall? That's what I thought too, but it's not working when I click it, so... I think I'm being stupid. You see? <sighs> Don't talk to me. 
I thought I would have to click A. You know, I clicked A all the time next to this. I clicked B. I didn't click hit. Oh my god. Uh, 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 uh. Yep. They see. <laughs> I was being stupid. I called it. <laughs> oh boy. You know. It happens. Oh, is this a boss fight so I can change game after? Oh. <laughs> okay, if this is not a boss, I'm gonna... Oh, it is a boss. Alright, perfect. We get to play like an actual boss fight before we swap. Violet Knight... Ooh, that's a very nice design. Dude, like the artwork is beautiful. Okay, so... Oh, very slow hits. One animation to the right, one animation to the left. There is no health bars right now. Okay, so far this boss is ridiculously easy. But there's no health bar. Oh. I'm gonna try this. Now there's a heal button, left button. Okay. So I absorbed his soul, kind of like Dark Souls style. Well, on earth, I didn't look healthy at all. Okay, so, all right, we're gonna swap over to the next game, but uh, this game is incredibly beautiful, but is that gonna be enough to be successful? I'm not sure. I definitely wanna play this more. Again, I wasn't kidding. Developers, if you're watching this, please email me. We do want to check this out, like, for potential investment into your studio. Because I think what you guys have created on an art style basis is amazing. But that boss was way too easy. Like, you know, that was, you know, my, my grandma can beat that. So, just, you know, I guess it's a tutorial, right? So it's okay. Alright, cool, cool. Let's go to the next one. Very nice. Very nice. Very competitive genre, though. Very, very competitive. Uh, I believe we have three more games, if I have time for all of them. Let me just check my library here really quick. So we got... Um, we got A Juggler's Tale. We have Out of Place. And we have... No, those are the two. Oh, no, we have uh, another one. Yeah, let's play the one that's not on Steam. So we have a build here for Helpi. All right, help high. That sounds cool. Let's try help high. Yeah, music was very nice. Yeah, it kind of had like that whole like Native American kind of like feeling. That was very nice. Oh crap! I just misclicked. Oh boy. I haven't streamed in a while, guys. Don't judge me. Uh, okay, here platformer. All right, let me double check that you can see the screen. Yep, help high. All right, so this is a pre-alpha demo, so this is going to be very early. This is usually the types of games that I play. I normally play, you know, very early demos, looking for investments, and uh, yeah, the menu is like start and quit game. <laughs> Not exactly innovative. So this is going to be interesting. We got a game that might be, you know, oh wow, what is this art style? Wait a second, I've seen this game. This went viral on Reddit, right? I'm like the son of the devil or something, and my goal is to kill as many people as possible in like a Metroid Wait, where's the sound? I don't have sound. I have seen this game. I believe it's published by Raw Fury, isn't it? If I recall correctly. Hmm, it doesn't have sound. Oh! Okay, now sound came back. That's weird. Are these guys not published by Raw Fury? Or am I crazy? I've seen this game before. I know it went viral. So, do you want to start playing, or should I tell you more about the game? That's the story and stuff. Oh, what? I didn't... Oops, I misclicked. I was supposed to say, tell me the story, but I... Hey. 
Indie Stroll Chip. Oh, so this is the name of the guys who developed it? Still in development, not final. Do you want to start playing? Oh, tell me more. All right, tell me more. Help us by the grain of Satan's birthday pie, okay? This fat, sweet, charming angel chains your horn as to, I mean, what? Okay, so camera, guys, what is happening? I'm not moving anything, and the camera keeps running away from the text. That's frustrating. Pre-alpha dose, so it's okay. Enter the portal. Okay. Cool, cool. Yes, indie stroll show. Developers are slugger fry. Okay, do, do they have a publisher? Or... Right, let me see the Steam page link. I've seen this uh, game so many times on Reddit. No, you don't have a publisher. Oh, I thought that you guys had the... Um, uh, Raw Fury as a publisher. I must have missed. Sluggerfly. Okay, cool. Well, I'm used to pre alphas so... Let's see what you guys got. Brain Booster. <laughs> what is he doing? Why is he... Why is he humping the thing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> wait, wait, shit, am I supposed to eat these? Oh, whoa, 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 okay, so. X is running, B is hit, A is jump, double jump, nothing on the back. Okay, so four buttons. Okay, so that's respawn. All right, so respawn, jump, hit, run. Okay. Clear. I guess I could have waited for the tutorial. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! All right, let's jump. Yep, I'm probably supposed to catch those crystals, huh? Double jump, yep. Oh, checkpoint. In air. Oh, which button is that? Oh, that's the one in the back. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. I could only do that once. Whoops. <laughs> okay. All right. Whoopsie daisy. So hold in the air. All right. I got it. Whoops. So. Whoop. I'm terrible. I am terrible. <laughs> All right, checkpoint. I'm just trying stuff here. You know, breaking things is always fun. Okay. So swing again, all right. Can I break everything? I like breaking stuff. Whoa! Okay. A, X. Okay. Gotcha. Whoa, what the hell is that? What's up, dude? Sorry for cursing. So far, this seems to be like kind of like a fun satire game. Oh. <laughs> what the? Fermented to- No, you cannot buy fermented toenails. No, stop! Okay, can't kill them. Ah. Well, that was fine at least. <gasps> I did kill him! I'm sorry! Or is he breathing? He's breathing, we're good. Well, I know how attack works. Come on, game. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Oh my god, I just noticed it. Look at my little dude. Nice man boots right there. <laughs> what am I playing? Okay. That is funny. Checkpoint. All right. I guess we're swinging again. Or are we doing the? Okay, the dash. All right. Cool, cool. 
I don't know why I do that. I'm sorry. I just... I like to hit people. <laughs> That's really cool that you guys are like actually streaming the development. That's awesome. <laughs> Do you have some of the devs here in the chat? See if you're curious, ask right away. All right, well, how many are you guys in the team? And how long have you been developing the game? You said it's early. Are you like a big studio, small studio? I hate supermarkets. Well, I hate you. Go into the lava. Ah! Didn't work. Is all of this like bacon of humans? What is that? That's a gummy bear. Am I a bad person for wanting to kill everyone? Probably. 13 and 6? Alright, good job. You completed the tutorial. Alright, I think you're ready for a new level. Alright, cool, cool. Let's try the real one. So team of six, German, uh, three years now, demo's pretty old, okay. So what are you guys doing? Looking for investment or are you looking for publishers? What are you, what are you up to? Oh, I can carry this. I wonder if I can crush this crab. Oh, that didn't work. Looks like they're trying to me. <laughs> I love the hitting animations, that's funny. Okay, I can swim. Dive by the looks of it. No. I can't jump. Well, I'm, I'm the. I'm a bad person, right? So I'm allowed to hit everyone. Oh. I would love to check out sluggerfly.com, but I can't do that. While I'm playing, sadly. Hey, here, I have the best meat. Oh, right, I forgot. I'm supposed to be getting the cake for Satan, right? So this is like a marketplace. I guess I should get all these crystals, right? Touchable. Since it's really early, I'm not gonna really go super deep into game design and stuff like I did with the other games. I mean, you guys already said it's early, three years, and um, this is an old build. So I'll just judge you based on the game idea, and I mean, <laughs> this is a pretty crazy idea. <laughs> well, I mean, it's pretty fun so far. I mean, you're playing around with it. Okay, I can't take those. We finance the development ourselves so far? Okay. So you guys are paying yourself uh, full-time salaries? Or like with your savings? Or you're not taking payments? What are you doing? And are you six founders? Or that's just like the full team? Wait, can I glide on this or something? Oh, wait, I can climb! Holy shit! Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, obviously, even if there was a tutorial, there are certain things that are quite unclear uh, on the whole game design part, but again, we'll skip that. So... I can't pick this up. So I'm assuming I'm not supposed to. Okay. Hub worlds. Alright. Whoa! Okay, I was not ready for you, bro. Kill this guy. Wait, what about this little thing here? Oh, why, why, why? Oh, okay. Got it. Alright, so it's like kind of like an explosive shell against the crab. Cool.
So, out of curiosity, you got get him in funding. At least two games are able to find some most development with sales. Oh, that's awesome. Happy to hear it. You didn't bring your sunscreen. <laughs> oh, nice. What the? Is that a pig? Supported by Film and Media Fund NRW. Cool. All right, man. That's awesome. I'm always happy to hear when people are able to self-finance the games. I'll take a look at your guys' website. Yeah. How long ago was this demo from? You said it was very old. Like, how old are we talking? I'd be interested to see if, like, your new demo is, uh, much improved. <laughs> Used tampon, narcotic fruit, Sean Shepard plastic waste and radioactive material. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a, uh, a good recipe. Okay. What happened about Jenny? You want to know? No, not at all. <laughs> uh, last year, it's over a year old. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, if you guys don't know what you want to do, uh, I mean, you don't know if you're going to find a publisher or, or raise funding, you know. Again, you can send me an email if you want. We can take a look at your latest build and see if there's any way we can collaborate together and I'll have my testing team go over the whole build if that's something you guys want if so my inbox is open I wonder what happened if I said yes. I'm gonna click yes now. Yes. This is my life now. No, no okay. That's great, thanks. Yeah, no worries, dude. Like, uh, again, if you don't know who we are, we're Global Top Round. We're a global accelerator slash investor. We invest in 10 companies per year. And we're about to finish our investments for this year very, very soon, so. It's pretty good timing. So definitely, oh, fuck. Uh, if you guys wanna take a look, send me an email, my team and I will test it. We do have a couple of satire games we've reviewed, but nothing as crazy as this. Why can't I pick these up though? What is this about? gameplay trailer. I'm gonna take a look at that after this. For sure. Oh. Whoa! Oh! Okay. I think that was okay. Kill the gun dude first. I am not a huge fan of games with a slowdown mechanic. Um, personally, not a huge fan of them. Um, but that's subjective though. I know a lot of games actually do like this. Okay, with full health. 
Got it. That makes sense. I mean, as long as there's an option to turn off the slowdown mechanic, I think it's okay. Whoa! Okay, I gotta think about this here, so... I can't climb this room. Oh! Okay, oops. Well, now I can pick up the health bar. So, theoretically, I should be able to reach that. Right? I think. Okay, wait a second here. Okay, so we're gonna go there. Oh shit! No! 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 Oh boy, we fucked up. Okay, let's do that again. Get the health first. Oh, there's another way to go right there. I wonder if I'm in range. Man, okay, let's go here first. Oh, that's a dude? Oh. Okay. Alright. <laughs> You're not able to collect it if you are full life? Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, thank you. I was being silly. We took the slowdown out. You can swing multiple times, by the way, during one air phase. Ooh. That's what the three wings were for, right? Probably. Oh. What's happened? Alrighty, let's try again. Okay. So. Rip. And we're in. Okay, so. Other than that, I guess we can go left here. There's another three boxes on the left as well, and we've kind of caught everything. Alright. Hello, boys! <laughs> oh! I landed him in the can! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, we got the tampon, guys! Awesome. All right, Grandma, what you want? Use the teller, I don't want to say one, please move on. Oh. I kind of liked it, okay, okay. All right, no, this is a very interesting idea. Uh, like, satire games is something I personally really like, and you guys have done something pretty crazy. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Really? Well, that was gonna be my point. I think you guys have created something that like automatically goes viral. <laughs> So stupid. All right. Cool. All right. Since we got about 35 minutes to go and two games left, um, or do I have two games left? I do, right? Uh, so we got the Juggler's Tale. Um, and yeah, and out of place. All right. So we're gonna end this one here then. Again, send me an email. We'd definitely love to check it out. Uh, I think you guys have something that, you know, is not very, uh, which is super original. I mean, satire games, again, there there is not a lot of them, and they're, they're very niche. So if you could kind of pull them off, and you're able to get that, like, virality, then you got it. You got, you got a winner. And I think this looks really fun. Um, and the way that you guys have set it up, and looking at the trailer as well, that looks really good. A lot better than the demo I just played. 
Yeah, I think you guys got a really, really cool game here. Reach out to me if you would like. Cool game. All right, let's do uh, Out of Place. Thanks for playing. No, thanks for developing, man. That was cool. That was fun. We actually have like five German investments already. You might know some of them. We, we work with Quantum Frog. We work with Point Blank Games, uh, Thought Fish. Um, yeah, and a few more. So German Germany has some really good studios, man. Very talented. All right, let me take a look at this. Okay, out of place. Alrighty. Oh, I just misclicked. Hey, what is happening here? Uh, what is happening here? Why ish me? Ah, there we go. Fixed. Okay, next up we got out of place, and I'm starting with a sword. And sideline, okay. Camera. Uh, is this an indie game, guys? Okay, so right back is attack. These don't do anything. X doesn't do anything. Y doesn't do anything. So right now I have jump. Sideline and one normal auto attack. Okay, and by clicking extra attacks. All right. Peter Schmidt. All like right. Some kind of barrier. Oh, do I have teleconnected powers or something? Uh, maybe that rune has something to do with it. No. Nope. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, wait, what? Oh, no, no! Damn it. Why are you empty again? Okay, so that cost me power, and I lost my blade when I tried to get rid of that small object. Marcus Albert. All right. Interesting. Another charging station. Perfect. Let's get you down there. Voice acting is not bad. Pretty good. So far. Toggle sprint. All right. So tutorial introducing me to one mechanic at a time. Let's go get you charged up. Go get me charged up. All right. Indy, five people. All right. Hamburg Indy Studio. Gotcha. No. I'll try and hold him back. Uh, how am I gonna do that without my sword? Okay, I got my sword. Right. Oh, what? Oh, camera is not well optimized. Or maybe this is supposed to be a keyboard and mouse game? Like, the camera work is not good. Can I move the mouse? On, okay, this is better. Okay, I'm definitely getting... Okay, wait a second. All right. Slow motion. So wait, what's the PC controller? Shift is run. Left click obviously hits. We know that already. What's the dodge button? What's the dodge button? Control? Alt? That was close. Okay, it's tab yeah. is doing this. Let me turn off my back. controller. This is not a controller game. Uh, well, it could be a controller game, but the camera is very badly optimized for uh, for a controller. That's okay though. Indy started as a project in university. Okay, cool. I mean, it looks very nice uh, on a first glance. And again, voice acting is pretty good. The controller camera is, is not very well made, however. Um, artwork still needs a lot of work. I can see that a lot of this is probably placeholders. Would this be a human? Which is okay. 
Do I have achievements already? Alright. So I still don't know what this does, to be honest. Sound design, Fabian Dis. Okay. And Brandon Feig. You almost died in the tutorial? <laughs> I didn't die, okay? I was just testing out all the buttons. Oh yeah, I still get to check. Um, dodge, direction plus right mouse button. Okay, scroll ruins A or D. Space or left mouse button. Okay. All right, so direction and right click. Right. So why is it not working? Direction plus, oh, A or D, gotcha. All right, that's pretty clear. Mm -hmm. How do I... Never have to meet one of those giant Am I supposed to activate these things still or not, do you think? Doesn't seem like it. They haven't really given me an explanation of what these things mean yet, so I guess I'll just keep running for them. So far, like, the, the, the music in almost every game I've played has been really, like really good and oh shit oh my god the camera man like when you actually click uh, attack the camera gets stuck so it's very hard to control oh my god so I'm being really silly okay so what did I do again right mouse button okay right mouse button ah Oh, I am not good at this game. I am really bad at this game. <laughs> I'm sorry, developers, but I am, I, I am not good at this. Like, I think the camera controls that you have are really poorly optimized, not allowing me to properly turn and getting my attacks in, and... Yeah. Okay. So, am I supposed to do anything with this again? So, what happens when I click something? Okay. I probably should have done that earlier. I think I just healed myself. Even though I have no idea how I just healed myself. Okay. I'm sorry. This, this is a little hard to play. So what I do now? Yeah, I, I, I'm playing a very early prototype. Okay, that's okay. Um, really, just the the camera work makes it really hard to to play. So it's no worries. Early prototypes are early prototypes. I'll just judge it based on that, of course. I could just be really bad as well, you know. There's that. Okay, so when you respawn, only one enemy is still alive. Like, I'm curious how these combat mechanics work. Hmm. Okay. Like, the actual combat flu flu like fluidity, or whatever you call it in English, is also a little off. What caused that? Also, personally, I mean... Looking at the whole world and everything, I feel like you guys can definitely like go with another character than a human, but I'm very early, of course, but... I guess the game's called Out of Place. So maybe I'm a human that's out of place in another world, I don't know yet, of course. Um, but I see a lot of potential for, you know, really building up the character that we're using in the world. But we're early, it will come. Okay, so slightly... Oh. Interesting. So I guess this is like placeholder um, art for the bridges and stuff. What? God, what is happening here? Some kind of shaman or something? Okay. 
it's a big big lack of of tutorial and what the purpose is. Like I'm I'm being thrown into the story. I understand that the robots here, but I wasn't being explained. You know, like how the healing system works or how I'm supposed to use these runes, etc. So you know, you get like very very confused as to what my purpose and intention here is. I get that I can swap the runes now by playing. But still, like, I keep getting these really cool, and I like this, like, murals, right? But you're not telling me why I'm meeting them. So, again, early prototype, so I guess that comes later. But even for an early prototype, right, when you're presenting it to a publisher or an investor or whatever purpose you, like, whatever you want to do, you need to show us, right, like, what are these core features and mechanics, even if it's very vague. Because I need to have an understanding of, you know, where are you going next? How are they going to be built out? So just showing me a sneak peek is more than enough. Whoa. Oh boy, I got a bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. Okay. So, game design wise, it's clear I need to attack the legs and the head. Those are the two things I need to focus on. Whoa. Okay. So, ranged. I forgot that the rune heals me. Oh! Oh, one shot me?! Oh no, didn't one shot me. Oh, okay, 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 I'm still alive. Ah! Okay, so now I need to use the robot thing again, right? So, boom, boom. And... Uh, no, 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 that's the robot! God damn it! No. Uh, uh, no. Get God damn it! Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I get that I'm supposed to damage it. All right, we'll try one more time. So I guess I'll turn on these three. I think this is like some sort of DPS thing. Not sure. I'm guessing. Oh my, why, why can't I move? Okay. Alright, we're gonna swap over to the next game, guys. I'm sorry, like, I can't really judge this game. It's a very early prototype where the combat isn't optimized, and, you know, you're kind of just being thrown into it. Um, just to give you, like, a clarification from, like, my company's perspective, this is a little bit too early for us. We would need to see more um, about the built-out features or something that, you know, is being optimized. But being told that this started as a university project is very interesting. Like, you've definitely got something really cool here. Um, we just, I just have to see more. So I don't want to be harsh or anything on, on anything. But it, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, okay, so we got the final game for today, which is a juggler's tale. Uh, you guys have to live with me for another 20 minutes or so before you get rid of me. <laughs> latest gameplay overview. Okay, let me take a look at that really quickly. Alright, I'll take a look at that uh, trailer a little bit later. Thank you. Alright, Juggler's Tale. Oh, is this a controller game? There's no mouse. Right. Ah. Okie dokie, a juggler's tale. Some really good games, Ladies guys, though, so far. Gentlemen, oh. Come in, come in. In the mood for a story, are we? I'm not sure, to be Our honest. Our hero 
is no normal hero. Not even a nope, hero at all. But a wee little heroine. Yeah, sound composers have been good all day today. Fully unremarkable. I know, you know it sounds absurd. She lived Am I a puppet? in a quaint little village like... Like... What's the name of this place again? Ah, no matter. Even the meekest of slums harbors a wealth of stories. Just listen to you. You're like little laboratories. A little circus was in the region. I'm sorry, I'm not a concert Traveling player. there okay, out, right oh. wooing housewives and handymen wherever they were about. Hmm. And from among all these passers-by, Abby, would you like to say hi? Hmm. I guess it's called a juggler's tale, right? So it is kind of like a story. I wonder if like it's like a narrative story where they're going to read to us the whole time. That would be pretty cool. Come on, Abby. Show us what you're made of. No? <laughs> you can see how my things are like... Oh. Aim with the joystick? Oh. Not bad. Well done, eh? Or do you think Abby's selling you short? That's it, right? Abby isn't here by chance, though. No. This isn't a visit. Oh, oops. This is no fall damage. Fortune has deemed her artist extraordinary. Though not extraordinary enough to command her fair share. The ringleader announces proudly, Attention, the artist! A meager little girl child who alone shall confront the beast. <laughs> Abby, my hero. I'm afraid I've dropped my cap. To the rescue, can Abby save my scalp? They want me to... what again? So I have a feeling this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And then jump over the bear. Or I'm supposed to do this one here. Why does the bear look like he want to eat me still? Don't eat me, bear. Uh-oh. Um. <laughs> hey. Ah! Aim it! Aim it! Take the food! I forgot how to aim. <laughs> Wait, shit. How was it? Take the food, well damn it. Done. Well done. Take the food. Don't stop now. You almost got it. Take the food, don't eat me. Okay, that didn't work. Wait, what, what does he want me to do? Oh, there we go. I forgot. There it is. No, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm supposed to make him turn around, obviously, and go over there. You see? Go over there, dude. Come on. Fat bear. Go. Wait, wait. Okay. I think that's bugged. Yep, turn around. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. There we go. Phenomenal, right. Abby. <laughs> Do tell. The ringleader praises Abby. Interesting. You've mastered that well. But the sun is beyond low. The audience beyond cliche. Good night, good people. Twas the last performance of the day. Those riddles. But out of sight from the cheering crowd. Abby's life is, is not at all proud. You had the crowd cheering for more. The ringleader praises Abby. Oh. For 
locking the door. I'm caged, huh? Poor Abby. Held in a small cage day and night. Free only for the moment of a staged fight. At least she's not starving, which often occurs. But oh, how she longs to see the world. What's this? Oh. A pair of reds take heed so cute. and bring you Thank an you. apple in your hour of need. How do I eat it though? Wait. The ringleader storms in, disturbed it seems. What's going on here? He storms and screams. I like the narrative guy, right? Like, I don't know. The narrator, the narrator is pretty good. Yo, give me another apple, rats. Come on. Or no? Yes, yes, yes. There we go. That's what I want to see. Okay, so what am I actually supposed to do here? Think, think. So tossing it there does... I, I need something to get this keyhole, right? Now, where would the key actually be? Because it's not... the. I mean, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yep, I am stupid. I know. I'll do that again and see what happens. No, it's the same thing. Oh my god, I, I am really bad at games like this, man. Am I blind? So I can throw it to the left. It doesn't go upstairs. It doesn't go on the... Uh, spade or whatever. So obviously I have to throw it to the right then, right? But I don't see anything on the right. I'm dumb. The barricade has a switch. Where though? I mean, I don't see anything. Because I can't go up there, I can't go here. I am blind? What? Really? The key is in his back? Oh, so I have to steal the key from him? But then he has to be really close to me, though. And this one is not getting me close enough. Let me just time throw here. I don't know what's gonna happen. Nothing, I guess. Never mind, that did work. So how do I get the key, then? Maybe he drops it by mistake now? Hmm. Yeah, I see the key being highlighted. But how do I pick it up? I can't do anything once I threw my apple. Isn't the red thing? No, I tried to throw in the red thing already. I'm being immensely stupid right now. So I think it has to be this one. This is the closest thing to me and I have to try and grab something, I guess. So when he comes here now, I try to grab the key. Yes. Abby's oh. No, don't, don't open it, don't open it, don't open it. Has no, 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 Yep, you yep, yep. had the crowd Oops. cheering for more. I know it's the, the booze, right? The praises Abby before locking the door. Yep, yep. Give me the apple. Abby, held in a small cage day and night. God damn it. Free. <laughs> the I misclicked stage. opening the door like a god that. Least she's not starving. Potato. Which often occurs, but oh, how she longs. Can't believe it was that easy the whole time though. What's this? A pair of reds take heed yes, yes, yes. and Thank bring you. you an apple in your hour of need. All right. The ringleader storms in, disturbed it seems. What's, What's going, going on, on here? here? He, he storms and screams. screams. Really good narrator. I like him. 
Abby's had enough. Has she no place other than this cage? Mm -hmm. Off she goes. Onto the wide open stage. Impertinent? That means brash. Don't tell me you wouldn't make a dash for it. All right, open the cage. Let loose the bear. That's the plan here. Carefully. Carefully, so as not to make a sound, she slips away from the ringleader's hounds. Poor Urs. The bear friend, literally strong Are as we a friends bear. or is he gonna eat me? Abby We're knows friends. too well how his captivity feels. Raging beast? Abby. Abby, don't you see the threats holding you up also hold you back? Without the help of friends, and those are very few, your dreams will stay dreams and never come true. Damn! Hopefully no one heard that! That's probably not what happened, but... Oh wait, shit. Bear, Papa Bear, help me. Together, dear Abby, you can move mountains, right? I'm so confused by this game that I'm not exactly sure what to say, to be honest. All this trouble. It's kind of cute, but I've never played a game like this. Oh, wait. The ring leader. You've oh, been found out you, fast. Bear. Thank you, Papa oh, my. Bear. Oh, the loyalty of a beast. So often attributed to the heart, but perhaps a deficiency of the intellect. Apparently, Earth found that his cage to be smaller than his own. Quick now, Abby. Be quick as you can. Go launch and sentiment follow your plan. This is the story of a little jug. All right. Well, I, I, I honestly don't really know what to say about that game. I guess I'm kind of like intrigued to know a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've done a, I watch over a thousand pitches a year and I play an insane amount of games in my job and I haven't really seen any games like that. So I don't know. Interesting, I guess. Um, I like the whole narrator, but I don't get the whole thing about, you know, being stuck in the threads and, and stuff. Um, I, yeah, I would need to see more. That, that took me 13 minutes and I also died, so it's like a 10 minute demo. Um, yeah, interesting. I mean, definitely, if I had to pick a favorite from today, if I really, really had to, it's kind of hard, but I, a Desperados 3 is obviously super high quality, but I, I really like Itora and Lost Ember. I think both of them were really good. I think everyone kind of had their own niche. Like the Hell's Pie is also super cool because, again, it's like it's like a satire game, right? It's it's gonna be a bit crazy. It's gonna go viral because of the way it's been designed. So, yeah, no, very cool, man. Um, a lot of really cool games. Really attesting that you know Germany's development scene is pretty freaking awesome. You guys have amazing developers and really cool games. So, I'm looking forward to trying more. And again. Uh, my name is Pontus Slap Mahler, ex-pro gamer and streamer, now director of business development for GTR and G-Round. So you're looking for investments, you're looking for business acceleration, send me an email at Pontus at GlobalTopRound.com. And, you know, I'll take a look at your game and pitch, and we can see if there's any way for us to do a business partnership together. And if not, you know, you can get some feedback on your game. So thank you guys so much. Uh, it was a pleasure being here. Thank you, Games Week Berlin, for allowing me to be here. Uh, it's been two hours. See you guys in the future. Thank you guys.